Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and welcome back aboard the Disney Fantasy. Today is day number five, and we're docked here in St. Thomas, which is the U.S. Virgin Islands. The game plan for today, we just woke up, we're about to head back up to Deck 11, stop by Cove Cafe, pick up some coffee, because that coffee is so good, and then go over to Cabana's, grab something to eat for breakfast, Come back to the room, change, because we actually have a excursion today. We're going to be snorkeling over a shipwreck here in St. Thomas. And then after that, we're going to be coming back to the ship. I have like a really nice shave treatment I'm going to be doing up in Sense of Spa. And then tonight we have dinner at Animator's Palette. It's going to be another fun day. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. Oh yes, made it back inside Cove Cafe to get some fresh coffee. I think I may get a espresso or an iced coffee today. Cheers babe to a great day. I know you guys can't really see me, but look at this background. Look how blue the water is here in St. Thomas. I can't wait to get out and explore. Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. I just can't get over how blue the water is. Here's a quick look at what they have inside of Cabanas for breakfast. You have scrambled eggs, hash browns, donuts, pastries. Hello, sir. Thank you, thank you. Mickey waffles, pancakes. That looks like a breakfast hamburger back there. Sausage, egg, and cheddar slider. Corned beef hash, turkey bacon, sausage, regular bacon, mushrooms, grilled tomatoes, roasted potatoes. Eggs Benedict, keeping it pretty light today. Of course, I had to get my Mickey waffle, hash browns, bacon, and frosted flakes. Not too impressed with the selection today, but it's always a good day when you have a Mickey waffle. I will say, I do really miss the cast members serving us here in Cabana's, which is the buffet, just because I feel like that made things a lot faster and easier. Bianca made herself a little fruit bowl to bring back to the room, by the way, Check out the pool deck because a lot of people has already gotten off the ship today. It's pretty empty and quiet. I wonder where exactly we're going to be heading to snorkel in just a little bit. Here comes the Norwegian sky pulling into dock. It's crazy how much bigger the Disney Fantasy is and the Norwegian sky is a pretty large ship. Just made it back to the room and look at our live view from our porthole inside of our stateroom. All right, we have changed into our bathing suits. We have to head down to the D lounge to meet up with our group, and then we're going to be escorted off the ship and over to our boat that we are going to be on for the day, which is really nice, and I really appreciate the fact that you can book these really nice excursions through Disney, and you don't really have to worry about anything going wrong, anything going sketchy or anything like that so that's really nice and very beneficial that Disney offers that so I'm going to actually leave the big camera here in the room just because we plan on being in the water all day so I'm going to switch over to the GoPro in my iPhone and here we are inside of the D lounge we just need to head over here to check in we are all checked in and we were given these hercules stickers and we have to put them on and this is our group for the day now today we are going out to shipwreck cove and for adults this was 69 dollars, and for children 49 dollars. and they do provide towels for you to bring off the ship which is very nice i really like how disney cruise line allows you not to check out towels because we've sailed with world caribbean before and it's always such a hassle to always check out towels we have officially made it off the ship oh there's a sea turtle babe right there oh my goodness right there just out hanging out there's also a senior frogs here oh yeah wow already off to a fantastic start. I want to also say everything has been super organized for this excursion today and I really appreciate it. Disney is already out cleaning their ship. This has been such a super long walk from the ship over to our boat but it's been worth it because we've been able to get some breathtaking views of St. Thomas 
I believe this is our boat coming up and away we go. We're off passing by the Norwegian sky and then we can see the Disney Fantasy. Whoa, that is a nice yacht. But look at this view, all the different homes on top of the different mountains here. Passing by our ship, the Disney Fantasy. What a view this is, getting to be able to get this close on the water. We have made it to Shipwreck Cove. It was about a 45 minute boat ride out. This place is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the GoPro, get the rest of my equipment on, and let's go see some marine life. And away we go.
Oh my goodness, that was the best snorkeling experience we have ever had. It's very windy, I have a lot to say, but we just finished up. We spent about an hour and some change inside of the water. It was a great time, very fun. We got to see a lot of marine life. Oh, I'm very tired though. What a view this is as we are starting to make our way back to the dock and back aboard the Disney Fantasy. Just made it back to the pier and we are docking as I speak. We just made it back on land. We have about 20 to 30 minutes of free time before we need to be back on board. Ooh, they have a sushi bar here. Look at the coconuts, how cool. About 30 minutes later, we have made it back to our stateroom. Like I was saying on the boat, that was so much dang fun. That was a super fun excursion, super organized. The staff was awesome. I believe there was like 74 or 78 people on that boat with us from the Disney Fantasy. But we got to see so much marine life. Tangs, triggerfish, beautiful coral, anemones, urchins. Somebody said they saw a starfish. We did not see a starfish. A little sad about that. Got some sun. We're a little red. That's okay. But now I am going to head back up to deck 11 to go over to Census Spa because I have a collagen shave man's treatment coming up which I am really looking forward to and then I think we are going to try to get Bianca a facial if there's availability so let's go find out. Made it up to Census. Today I'm going to be having my treatment here inside of the barber shop. Here's the juice bar to get smoothies and champagnes and Bloody Marys. You have seating with one heck of a view. And here's the room where I just got my treatment. It was wonderful. Here's all the stuff they used. It was about an hour and we are moving. We did leave. Let me see if I'll focus in. We did leave St. Thomas, so we are back at sea. Well, we're back inside Cove Cafe, which has been my favorite place ever on this ship. <laughs> we had to come see Christopher again. Bianca got an iced coffee. This looks amazing, by the way. And then I got the first drink that I had yesterday, which tastes just like Christmas. Back in the room, and let me tell you guys, my collagen man shave was amazing. I enjoyed every single second, especially the scalp massage. I mean, I'm shining. My skin looks so good and my beard looks amazing. I really needed a shave because this is such a long cruise. It was much needed. I do recommend the service. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I was able to take some time for myself and then we made Bianca an appointment for her facial tomorrow because they did not have anything available today. But now that we're back in the room after a really good drink and a good time inside Cove Cafe, plus we got 
chicken tenders and fries to hold us over until dinner at Animator's Palette. I think we are going to take a quick nap, relax, and then we have dinner. I think there's a show tonight. We want to catch a movie. There's a lot of fun to be had. Oh, the silent party. Oh, the silent dance party and, and the tube. couples trivia. Couples trivia. That sounds so much And then fun. you want to go back to Ooh La La. Ooh La La. The champagne yes, bar. champagne bar. It's so pretty in there. Yeah, there's a lot to do, so uh, let's take a nap. See you guys in a minute. All right, a few hours later, we are very well rested. Yes. We are ready for dinner at Animator's Palette. I'm excited. Let me ask you, though, what did you think of oh, something just... Oh, <laughs> Mr. Potato, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head! Head. <laughs> <laughs> he distracted me. He has shown up the most. Yeah. Let me ask you, what did you think of the snorkeling excursion we had today? It was the best snorkeling excursion I've ever been on. Yeah. It was so colorful. Like I haven't seen a reef that colorful before because I yeah. feel like they're all kind of destroyed and not as pretty as they once were, but this one was gorgeous. Yeah. Very pretty. Lots of fish, lots of coral. Yeah. Great, great time. Yeah. Um, but dinner, it's our first time at Animator's Palette. I'm excited. Because on day two, we decided to go have dinner at Palo Dinner, which was incredible. Amazing. And here we are, back down on deck three, having dinner here at Animator's Palette. Let's head in. Oh, wait. Let me check out the menu real quick. Here's a quick look at tonight's dinner menu. Ooh, marinated shrimp, salmon, lamb, beef wellington. Then over here, we have soups and salads, lobster bisque white cheddar and broccolini soup vegetarian options and what do we have for dessert amaretto cheesecake cappuccino mousse celebration cake a peach tart i will say i have been looking forward to dining here at animator's palette because you get to draw your own character on this paper with these markers and then sometime during dinner your character will come up on the screens all right let's give this a try we have a few examples right here i'm a little nervous because i was never an artist in school <laughs> oh boy i tried my best <laughs> Whoa, check out the menu. That's awesome. I said this on our last cruise, which was the Disney dream, but I absolutely love these little knives. They sell them in the gift shop for $10. I think I'm gonna purchase one. We have some bread to start with. Our appetizers have arrived. Bianca ordered the lobster bisque, and then I got the chicken skewers with peanut sauce and some other sauce. I forgot what the other one was called, but it smells really good. I also really like how they're playing the Disney animations, like little shorts. Right now, this is Inside Out. Great movie. Our main entrees have arrived. We both decided to get the chicken schnitzel tonight. Looks pretty all right. It is now dessert time, and for the fifth time on this cruise, because of our wonderful server, we have souffle for dessert. Thank you, sir. Now this is cool. Oh my goodness, that's me. <laughs> How neat. No way. Our names are right next to each other. Dev, Bianca. Now this was really magical. I enjoyed this little experience a lot. Our server said something may happen after the credits. I wonder what it could be. Oh, the 101 Dalmatians. More great theming, even down on the floor. Ooh, okay, so we came up to deck four. We have the Skyline Lounge. We are heading towards the tube which is, yeah, this way. We made it to the tube. This is actually our first time in here because the last few times it's been very crowded and we're here early. Look at this place, super cool. So this is where the marriage game is going to be here at 10.30. Not going to lie, this place is awesome. We got a really good place to sit. These are the love seats. I love 
loves this. And the rain is again. That was a funny game to watch, but next up, it's the main event, Match Your Mate. We're gonna get some couples up on stage, but the length of time they've been married. Yeah. 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 That's it, and you get to sit in these love seats. So first of all, in the room, before I start explaining what's happening, who here has been married the least amount of time? It's our <laughs> Just made it back to the room after such a fun evening and tonight's towel animal a cute little penguin what a fun night yes. it was did you have a good time I had a great time what about you yeah this was probably the funnest night we've had on board mm -hmm. but that adult Disney couples show that we just watched hilarious. holy cow that was hilarious that was super funny yeah. and it was like Disney adult humor yeah. at its finest what did you think about dinner at animators palette so animators palette wasn't my favorite of the rotational dining um, okay. it was definitely my least favorite yeah I feel like the food was lacking in flavor like and your uh, lobster bisque that was pretty bad <laughs> but like it was very fishy like as soon as he placed it in front of me i'm like oh my gosh i smell like an uh and you an know aroma. what's crazy the uh family sitting next to us and you know we've been kind of as, chatting with them as soon as i got mine i had noticed the server was taking hers away and i was like oh gosh i don't yeah. think she liked it and then i didn't like the smell of it already mm. i was like let me just give it a try i tasted it and it was not fresh at all we've been talking with the manager a lot he's mm -hmm. super nice and as well as our server yeah. and even the manager was like yeah yeah this is uh, been happening tonight don't I guess. feel bad yeah, <laughs> we'll let the chef know but that was it i mean it was a pretty decent menu the chicken yeah. we had was pretty good i think it was that called was... the chicken schnitzel yeah <laughs> that thing it yeah. was actually pretty good it was good but this was my least favorite dinner at the yeah. rotational restaurants yeah i feel like the first night was my favorite at world court yeah and yeah. then palo obviously mine was pirate night oh yeah you did but like world pirate court night. was good yeah, yeah, just yeah. in general world pirate court night is really was good. really good too yeah. <laughs> that, i can still taste that chicken yeah um but the experience was really cool getting to draw those characters and then that was so they funny. came to life and yeah but overall it was a great day i really enjoyed my college and shave and then snorkeling today it was so much fun. That was the best snorkeling experience yes, I ever. I highly, highly recommend yeah, do that. doing that excursion through Disney. And it was just so seamless, right? It was mm -hmm. so easy oh, for yeah. us. Now, tomorrow is day six. It is another day at sea. I don't think I'm going to vlog it. I think I'm going to have another vacation day and just <laughs> go to the rainforest room and do nothing all day and yeah, sleep. just enjoy it. <laughs> sleep, watch some yeah, movies. Right. I really love how there's movies inside of the room on your TV. Yes. It's like Disney Plus. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, Castaway Key, the day we've been waiting for. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. As it, I like that. Good job. <laughs> as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming and Bianca. Out. Out. Good night. Good night. I ain't feeling lonely. And I want to make it's time to end the right. Fading it too slowly. Where those gonna lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. All the words you told.